Hey everybody, this is Robin Taylor from Taylor Freelance, and I'm here to show you the, our new Canic Elite Carry Magwell. Uh, the Elite Carry Magwell, as the name implies, was designed around concealed carry. The, rather than produce a full-size competition magwell like this one that we make for the SFX, we've gone with a system that looks small, but acts bigger than it really is. So I'll let's talk about some of the features. Hey, I've got one of the aluminum versions of our Carry Elite Mag, of our Elite Carry Magwell, I'll get that right eventually in my hand. One of the reasons that this thing acts big but looks small is because we've gotten rid of all the unnecessary, uh, unnecessary uh, material that holds it on the gun. The main thing we've done is we made it deep at the front and shallow at the back. Now why do I want that on a carry magwell? On a carry magwell, a carry, magwell is, a carry gun is almost always sitting up at an angle in, in, your, in your waistband. The butt of the gun is the thing that's going to stick out of your clothes and print, as it's called. Uh, and, and reveal whether you're carrying a concealed weapon. On the butt of our, of our carry magwell, this surface is all rounded and polished off so that it will, not, so it will look more like a natural bump than a sharp corner. And furthermore, it's thin on this end and thick on this end so that this end we've got a full quarter inch plus of magwell surface to work with. Here in the back, it's more like an eighth, uh, giving you a big magwell target in the front and less bulk in the back. All right, let's talk about some of the features of this thing. One of them is that we're deeper at the front than we are at the back. The, one of the additional f aspects of having to be deeper at the front than at the back is that I've now added almost a quarter of an inch to the front of the grip of the pistol. I have relatively narrow hands so that I can shoot an Elite without a magwell on it and I can shoot an Elite with the factory magwell on it. But if you have fairly heavy hands, you're, you're gonna end up with your pinky out off the bottom of the gun on the factory model. The, even though it's only two tenths of an inch, that is a really important two tenths of an inch when you're talking about whether you have your pinky able to control the gun or wrapping around the bottom and getting in the way. So for heavy-handed guys, this is a big deal. Okay, one other feature that we've added um, to the Canic Elite Carry Magwell is this little bump right here. I'm not sure if you can see it from there. It's got a good dent in it from our hack video we did a few minutes ago. Um, but anyway, this little bump right there is there for a reason. It's actually one of the reasons that we abandoned our initial version of this magwell and backed up to redo it. This retention system that Canik has adopted is really easy to work with, but it has some built-in limitations. The deeper you make the magwell, the larger this, the more this hole with, for the retention screw becomes a problem. And I'll show you why. It becomes a problem because if you miss your reload to the rear, the cart the rearmost the, the rim of the topmost cartridge can catch in that rearmost hole. And we've got it jiggered in such a way it's hard to do that, but on so I'm trying to artificially set it up. If you came in really, really hard to the rear now, you can still catch it in arm in this magwell. But because we've added that little bump, if you roll forward a little bit and it'll go. It's it's designed to minimize the effect. It's still that hole is still a problem, but not nearly as bad as it was before. This, this magwell is designed to be loaded from the front, is where we have the most magwell available, most available area for your magwell, so that your ammunition may potentially hit the front out nose, but your ammunition is all nice and rounded, so it will flow through there and create a pretty decent reload. Even if you miss to the rear, as long as you've got a reasonably close attitude, the, uh, the topmost round will bounce, generally bounce off of this whole area. Uh, and not get you in trouble. And we've got scallops on either side, so if you miss to the one side, it'll, it'll reorient the, mag the magazine to, to enter that hole gracefully and smoothly. Um, but yeah, well, interesting quirk. That bulge is here for a reason. It's not for strength. It's to, make, it's to save your reload as often as we can. One of, the, one of the biggest complaints we get about this competition magwell we do is that it doesn't gracefully take uh, factory magazines. So for the record, factory 15 round Canik TP9 magazine going into Magwell. It does fit, but it fits really tight. We didn't actually intend for this to take the factory magazine. We just kind of got lucky and it does, it does still go in there. But it's a little tighter than you'd like and if you had a malfunction where the mag was stuck, you're never going to get that out in a reasonable You could get it with, by ripping with your thumbnail. Who wants to do that? We recommend that you look at the Plus 4, for example, um, which has all kinds of room to pull on it, 
or of course the, the plus zero base bed that we make is another you know quarter of an inch deeper than this one which gives you some rip and strip surface uh, to pull a magazine in, in case you're having a big issue with it. Mm -hmm.